This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. Today we'll be looking at how to update the Fife template of your Squarespace site. And we're doing it in such a way that um, here we have like the Fife template. It comes with this very large banner. And we're going to update it so that the banner stays large on the home page. But on the other pages of the site, it'll be short, just like these. So here we, we're on the 5.1 template, and we've already made that change, as you can see. Where the homepage is nice and long, other pages short, and I'll show you how to get that done. So I'm going to switch over to the default site where we haven't made any changes as yet. So here's the homepage again, where it has this nice large banner. But on the other pages of the site, um, again, the banner is large as well. And it may be too large for like regular pages. So I'll show you how to fix that. So we get that same effect where these other pages are short and just the homepage um, has a large banner. So the first thing you're gonna do is to go into the back end of your site you're going to click on design. Next, you're going to click custom CSS. And here in this box, you're going to add that CSS code so that it applies only to the other pages at Saturday home page. So we're going to start with body colon not. And then our open and closing brackets. And we're going to talk type dot home page. So this will say apply the changes to any page except the one that we've defined as the home page. And then after that, we're going to type hashtag banner dash area dash wrapper. We're going to add our opening and closing curly braces. And between those, we'll give it a really short height, like set the height to 20 BW. And what that does is to shorten this portion. But when that is shortened, um, the text kind of stays in the same place because the text is surrounded by padding here on top and here on bottom so that it's centered in the middle. So what we're going to do is to fix that by adding body colon not and again we're going to type our dot home page and we're going to then type hashtag banner dash area and our open and closing brackets and we're going to type padding 20 pixels and you can always play around with these settings you might not want your height just as short as I set it, so you can increase it if you want and play around with the pattern that we're about to add. So this so far is the top pattern, which is 120 pixels. We don't need any on the left. And at the bottom, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna make this 100 pixels, 140 pixels at the bottom and zero on the left. So this is top, bottom, Wait, sorry, this is top, right, bottom, and then left. Great. So you're going to hit save. And I'm going to just refresh the home page so you can see there is no changes. These changes won't apply on the home page. I'm going to also refresh the other pages besides the home page. <laughs> So the home page is the same, the banner is the same height that hasn't been affected. But now when we look at the inner pages besides the home page, the banner is nice and short. And this is exactly what we're going for. So that's the testimonials page and this is the reserve page where it's nice and short. And again, you can always play around with those um, settings so that the, actually you know that's in design. Custom CSS, you can play around with those settings to make sure that 
your text is centered exactly to the specific height that you set it to. So you're going to hit save. And once you do that, then your text will be nice and centered exactly where it should be. And again, those changes will only apply on those inner pages and the home page because we've set body not home page, the home page will not be affected. Right. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.